I'm here on behalf of RPGN TV. I'm here with do the coverage of IEM. So let's get going. Okay, so tell me the difference between BenQ monitors and any other monitor out there. Right. So our monitors are um, specifically designed for professional gamers. Um, the monitors you see here today, they're um, got, they've got special features that allow first-person shooters to adjust the settings of the monitors so they have advantages over everybody else. And these things are basically that when they set up the monitor. When the picture goes dark or bright, the monitor adjusts automatically and they can see their opponents really clearly and early. So if you're not using the BenQ monitor, you don't have that advantage. And in these kind of games, timing is everything and we specialize on that. Well, first of all, it's a, you know, it's a global program, so there's not, I don't say it's difficulty, there's always challenges of bringing this whole set with uh, 1,100 square foot of space, of exhibited properties all over the world. So obviously shipping is one of the challenges. We had a difficult time of set up in SciTech because there's a short lead time, but they were in a great partner and we were able to make it work. So overall, I don't think it's really difficult. These are part of the challenges of doing a global eSport league around the world. nice to have more events like this in Singapore, but it um, would also be nice for more Singaporeans to attend these events. We'd be more grateful that such big event companies and Intel is coming here. I mean, it's going in the right direction. We have a lot of uh, government funding, MDA, IDA, but um, just keep on going, huh? but maybe with a little bit uh, more drive and uh, yeah, that's it. Singaporeans, you know, whether they should, you know, compete more locally or overseas? Definitely more, more, more exposure, more opportunities to, to compete and play at the, the world's best level. Um, in fact, our, our association, we started a fund to fund gamers to compete overseas. Right now, we have six guys uh, playing Battlefield. They are right now in Sweden uh, competing uh, at uh, this event called Dreamhack. So we definitely hope to see uh, more Singaporeans uh, competing at the world's best level and uh, that they do, do Singapore crowd. Definitely. Right, look, we, we feel we make the best monitor in the market for professional gamers. This event is um, the Intel Extreme Masters. Intel lead their field, they have the best product in the market for what they do. We only want to be associated with the best. So our product is not cheap, and but it's the best product. So this kind of event brings out the best. It brings out the best gamers, it brings out the best sponsors, it brings out the best hardware. That's what we're all about. What games do you play? Uh, I'm playing StarCraft 2 competitively right now. And yeah, just competed in the IEM Singapore. Okay, so you play StarCraft 2, right? So what race do you play? Uh, I play Protoss right now. Is it Protoss? Why Protoss? Uh, because I find Protoss has a lot of decision making which 
uh, fits well into my play style. I like the showmanship they have uh, and the flashy plays that you can do with Kodos, like the songs and force fields, which is just, it looks amazing to people watching the game who don't understand it, and that's my aim. I want to bring in as much people as I can to the game itself, grow the eSports scene in Singapore, and yeah. Very nice. Uh, it's uh, in a very big exhibition hall. The uh, staging is very, very good. The games are good, and we all like ESL. Great event. I think it looks like Intel has brought the consumer electronics shows all the way from Vegas here to Singapore, and they did a great job. Nice setup for IEM. Very professional. I think uh, the Singapore gamers, consumers are really benefiting from this experience. The event is amazing, it's unlike anything we've had in Singapore, especially because so many of the foreign players came down to compete, and not only from a player perspective, but a fanboy perspective, it's just uh, amazing to, to sit and talk to them and connect with them as well. So, mostly your feelings are nervous or happy? Or... Excited mostly, I was never really nervous against anyone, because um, against such top players, there's really nothing to lose except everything to gain so it was a great experience and I got to share a lot of experiences with them so it was, it was a good time. Are they going to come again next year? Well obviously you know we always evaluate where we decide where we go I mean next year is next year we don't really have the budgets approved yet but if we do get approved um, we definitely all want to come back to Southeast Asia because we are a global league. We've been absent from Southeast Asia for four years so I, I, that's why I was so excited to come to Singapore. Um, Looking at the turnout that we've had and the, the re uh, reception that I've got from different medias and the fans, you know, definitely would be one of my leading candidates to select them.